Magnetic variation and the effects of wind velocity and direction are factors that must be considered when determining the correct magnetic heading to fly from departure point to destination. Let's use the E6B flight computer to solve a type of problem you might find on an FAA knowledge exam. This question tells us to refer to figure 24, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Determine the magnetic heading for a flight from Allendale County Airport, Area 1, to Claxton-Evans County Airport, Area 2. The wind is from 090 degrees at 16 knots, and the true airspeed is 90 knots. Here's figure 24. You can find Allendale County Airport at the top of the figure near Area 1. Claxton-Evans County Airport is in the lower left portion of the figure near Area 2. Wind is from 090 degrees at 16 knots. Use a plotter to determine true course by plotting a line on the chart between Allendale County Airport and Claxton-Evans County Airport. True course is determined to be 212 degrees. Let's look at the wind side of the E6B flight computer to first find our true heading and ultimately determine the magnetic heading required for this trip. Instructions for finding true heading are conveniently located at the top of the slide. Set the given wind direction of 090 degrees under the true index. Next, plot a wind mark on the E6B to represent the 16 knot wind. To do this, slide the rule as needed to center the hole in the disk over an arbitrary point from which to begin your measurement. The 100 knot airspeed arc makes a good starting point. Measure up 16 knots from the center and lightly mark it with a pencil. Next. Turn the wind dial to set your true course of 212 degrees under the true index pointer. Move the slide until the wind velocity mark you made with your pencil is aligned with your true airspeed of 90 knots. Wind correction is measured in degrees from either side of the center line and labeled in blue every 10 degrees to the right and in red every 10 degrees to the left. The lines in between indicate 1 degree increments above the 100 knot arc and in 2 degree increments below the 100 knot arc. To find your wind correction angle, count the number of degrees from the center line to your pencil mark. Since we are below the 100 knot arc, we will count each line as 2 degrees. Your pencil mark is on the left, approximately 9 degrees from the center line, which means you will be applying a left wind correction angle and will need to subtract 9 degrees from your true course. A true course of 212 degrees minus a wind correction angle of 9 degrees equals a true heading of 203 degrees. The last step is to apply magnetic variation to your true heading. The isogonic line indicating magnetic variation is represented by the magenta dashed line running from top to bottom in figure 24. The magnetic variation for this geographical region is 5 degrees west. A good memory aid for applying magnetic variation goes something like this. West is best, east is least. When a westerly variation is indicated, it must be added to the true heading. When an easterly variation is indicated, it must be subtracted. A true heading of 203 degrees plus a westerly variation of 5 degrees results in a magnetic heading of 208 degrees.